Hey, what's going on guys welcome back to another black ops 4 tips and tricks video today i want to talk to you guys about controlling your weapon and more specifically the spitfire because the spitfire is an absolute beast of a weapon it really is overpowered and there's a reason why it's one of the hardest weapons to control in black ops 4. now once you master the recoil and how to counter it dude like your gameplay will improve by that much because like i said the spitfire is super op i'm gonna go over three key tips on how to improve your aim and how to control your weapon more and one bonus tip real life tip that you guys could apply maybe you guys can guess what that is but it does help out the biggest mistake that i typically see with other players especially those who are new at call of duty is when they just kind of spray their weapon you know i've seen people in real life like friends personal friends of mine you know when i go over to their house and they say hey you want to play some call of duty and i watch them play and one thing that sticks out to me is the way that they fire the weapon and for example they'll uh, aim in at whoever they're uh, targeting and they'll just kind of like spray like this so they're just spraying all right so my tip my first tip would be to uh, pop fire or burst fire or pulse fire, whatever you want to call it. It's basically just like this. Pop, 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 pop. All right. So you kind of want to think of your weapon as a burst fire weapon, you know, and this is especially helpful at longer ranges. Let's go somewhere farther. For example, let's go up here real quick. You know, let's say like there's an enemy down there, okay? And you're using a weapon like the Rampart. We're gonna use the Spitfire in a little bit. And I'll show some examples and some gameplays as well in the background of me personally using the Spitfire and uh, taking enemies down from distance. So let's say there's a guy right behind the barrel. Pop, 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 pop. That is exactly like how I would recommend players to control their recoil. And, you know, you could use this for any weapon. Now, if you're using something like the ICR, you won't really need to do this because if you put on double grip, you basically have laser beam accuracy and it doesn't really matter whether you control the recoil or not. So we'll go again. Let's go over it again. Don't do this. Don't do that. I'm just spraying the weapon. I'm holding down the trigger, holding down the trigger right here. Let me show you guys. I'm holding it down. That's not how you want to do it. Okay. So when I'm pop firing, this is what I'm doing with my trigger right here. So I'm going to go pop, 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 pop. All right. Now let me speed that up. If you do master this, you're going to be one hell of a beast. You're going to be taking down enemies from long distance. I'm going to do it a little bit faster now. So, you know, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but that's pretty much how I take enemies down from distance. I've seen some comments on my channel that say like, yo, how is your aim so on point? And by the way, if you're completely new to Call of Duty or first person shooters in general, I highly recommend you go check out my video on a drill that will help you get used to aiming at moving targets and, you know, some drills that you could do that will instantly improve your aim. If you guys have tried using the Spitfire, the one thing that you're going to notice is how hard it is to control the recoil. So let's say like you got an enemy like right there where the plant is, but we're going to pretend that they're right behind them. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to pop fire real quick. Okay. That was pretty accurate. Now I'm just going to hold down the trigger, which is what I do not recommend or, or what I, a mistake that I see a lot of people do. See, it's, it's kind of obvious right there at that point. Like this is what happens when you do it the wrong way. This is what happens when you do it the right way. Okay. So pop fire is key. And like I said, once you learn how to master that, you will definitely uh, see an improvement in your accuracy. Okay. So my second tip is going to be lowering your sensitivity. Every time you're using a submachine gun, it is definitely recommended to lower your sensitivity. I mean, just even in general, even if you're using an AR, it will definitely reign supreme at longer distances when you're trying to take people down and you couple that with the first tip, which is the pop firing. So pop firing plus lowering your sensitivity is definitely going to help you target your enemies a lot more accurately. For me personally, I use five out of five. That's my honest sweet spot. 
but the main thing that i want you to focus on is the ads sensitivity which is right here 0.75 basically what this does is that it adjusts your sensitivity while you're aiming down sights so this is very very important so like i said the lower the sensitivity the better but you don't want to go too low because when you're aiming down your sights and you're trying to track an enemy you're not going to be able to track them fast enough so let me just give you an example of what happens if you bring it down to 0.25 okay so let's say this is the enemy all right so i'm aiming down sights and i'm trying my best i'm trying my best to turn you know my joystick right here i'm trying my best to turn my joystick but it's just not doing it because my ads is too low all right so let's go change that back change that back to 0.75 okay let's try that again there you go much better much better just like that okay so lowering the sensitivity is definitely going to be key in helping you get a higher accuracy percentage my third tip is going to be countering the recoil so you're gonna ask me how to do this basically you're gonna to try to counter the direction with your right thumbstick of which way the gun is swaying okay so let me give you an example so let's say somebody's at that doorway right there okay or i could just shoot at that so see how the gun like naturally goes like left and right when i'm shooting and i'm tracking a target like this for example i'm gonna counter it if it goes right i'm gonna go left let me let me try and like uh show you guys right here well it's gonna be a little bit difficult but so i'm aiming in okay see see how i'm kind of like moving both of my thumbsticks but mainly it's the right right thumbstick that i'm doing okay so again just like this just like that i don't know if you guys saw that hold on let me try it again so i'm aimed in all right i'm using my right thumbstick right thumbstick is is what enables you to do this okay so here we go it's moving right left right left right left that is my third tip is just to tug the joystick your right joystick in the opposite direction that your gun is swaying so if it's swaying to the right you got to be counteractive and tug your joystick to the left so i know it sounds easier said than done but that's why i highly encourage you guys to go into a private match play against some bots and uh you know just practice shooting them and i, I would recommend practicing on the spitfire because like i said once you master the spitfire you're gonna get a ton of kills and you're just gonna be unstoppable and that will translate to other weapons in the game as well all right so my fourth tip which is a bonus tip it's a real life tip is you could buy some control freaks this is exactly what i use i use the infernos on my right joystick and i use the cqc's on my left uh the left joystick is generally like i recommend it to be a lot shorter than the right stick i don't know if you guys can see that so the right stick is red okay and the green is my left thumbstick so left thumbstick is going to control the character moving okay left and right i'm moving left and right and the right thumbstick is going to control you know the direction of your aim which is you know looking up and down left and right you know turning around and stuff like that the principle behind using control freaks is that the higher the thumbstick the the more accurate that your shot will be it will help you control your shots a lot more accurately some people are going to say man control freaks suck they don't work but honestly you just gotta practice you gotta give it some time you gotta get used to it adding control freaks definitely will improve your aim much much more than you think if you have the money i would highly recommend getting some control freaks and yes i am sponsored by control freaks use code turbo for 10 percent off your purchase and let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have used uh my code i really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me on that one i see some people on twitter telling me they use my code so uh you know they really do help you out i'm not gonna i'm not gonna promote something that i have never personally used or i don't believe in if you guys learned something from this video definitely give a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new for more tips and tricks i like to give you guys some tactical information on how to get better uh, using strategy and tactics you know that will help you improve your overall game and turn on the notifications by the way and the come on i told you get to the chopper come on go do it oh my god like <sighs> i need to get some soundproof foam in this room like seriously i can't even imagine my neighbor is just hearing this 
Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. I'm out here. Peace.